why would you need to duck for audio? Hey Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director Love. You know, the Power Director Love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on audio ducking in Power Director 16. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16 and we're about to duck some audio. Before I get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Audio ducking allows you to lower the volume of one track while another track plays at a higher volume. It's used more frequently during voiceovers when music is playing in the background while someone's speaking. As you can see on the timeline, I have two clips. The clip on track one is me running my big mouth about something that no one probably even cares about. The clip on track two is some awesome music from Digital Juice. Now, I want to apply audio ducking to the music so I can be heard at a higher volume than the music whenever I speak. If I play this now, you'll see that me and the music are kind of battling it out. And it's not that pleasing to the eardrum. Take me back. Hey, Power Director Pete. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director I love. I'm trying to figure out who's saying what, who's trying to explain what to sing to me, to what I'm trying to talk about song. I don't know what's going on, okay? So I'm going to get my duck on. Uh, there are multiple ways to apply audio ducking. First way is I can right click on the music clip. I can then go to edit audio. And then after I'm here, I can go to audio ducking. I can also left click on the music clip to activate it. I can go to tools and I can go to audio ducking. So now that I'm here, let's talk about the settings and make some adjustments. Sensitivity determines the volume threshold of the narration clip required for ducking to take place. So basically, it tells the system, hey, if you hear this much audio, apply ducking, would you? So I'm gonna go up pretty high. I want, like, if I hear 80% of the normal volume, I want it to start ducking. So basically, it's going to be very sensitive. Sensitivity is high. Now, the next setting we have on here is ducking level. So ducking level is the maximum percentage to lower the volume. So the higher the percentage, the lower the volume will go. And I'm going to set this pretty high as well. Booyaka. I know you like that. Booyaka. Who knows what booyaka means? If you know what booyaka means, leave that in the comments below. And the next setting that we have are for fade in and fade out. So we have fade out duration and fade in duration. So what these are is they're settings that indicates the amount of time you want it to take to fade in or fade out the audio. The higher the number, the longer the fade will take. So I'm gonna move these up uh, just a tad from the default. And then the last setting we have on here is to apply to all clips on the same track. If you have multiple music clips on a track, you can apply ducking to all of the audio on that track. And once you're done, you got all your settings dialed in, you go ahead and click on OK. And booyaka, you can see here, booyaka, okay? You, oh, you know where to go, comment section. So you can see here that the audio level has gone down, is using keyframes to bring the audio down and bring it back up. And you can see here the space where I'm not talking, the volume goes back up. When I am talking, the volume goes back down. When I stop talking, the volume goes back up. So you see that little seesaw effect, up, down, up, down. It's a beautiful thing. 
So now, if I play this back, you will hear that the volume of the music makes adjustments so that I can be heard while I'm speaking. Take me back. Hey, Power Director Peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director Love. You know, the Power Director Love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on lookup tables or LUTs in Power Director. So that's a very subtle music playing in the background with me speaking. Ooh, that sounds so beautiful. Don't you agree? I don't know why I used that tone when I just said that. But anyway, that's it, buddy. Audio ducking accomplished. Sounding good. And your videos are professional. All right, Power Director Peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Geocaching with Moto Joe. Geocaching with Moto Joe makes outdoor geocaching adventure videos on his YouTube channel. So, if you want to check out some geocaching videos, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like geocaching with Moto Joe did, go to the video description and complete our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, go to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. it Let people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.